What's up guys, it's Lemon Square, in today's video we're going over uh, me and Tax Olsen's cube collection in order of how many layers there are, and we'll be going over like the extra weird ones, so let's get right into it with 2x2. Two two. Okay, Tax Olsen's gonna do 2x2. Two two. This is a Rubik's Brand 2x2, two two. this is a YJ MC, MGC 2x2, two two. and this is a MoYu 2x2, two two. this is also a MoYu 2x2. Two two. And this is the YG MC two, uh, MGC 2A2 stickerless. So guys, we're here with 3x3. Okay, so first cube we have here is the MF3RS2 in white. Then we have the MoU GTS 3M Angstrom. Uh, then we have this dollar store cube, so that's that. Here we have the Maru, Maru cube. Uh, we put mayonnaise in this cube so it smells bad. We have a Rubik's brand. Here we have the Yushin Little Magic in white. Here we have a force cube that's combined with half of another force cube, so it creates this cool little cube. It's pretty, pretty nice. We have the other one of the cube I just showed. Here we have another yellow force cube made by the Yushin Black Kirin. Here we have a Chi Thunderclap or something like that. Here we have another force cube but in orange. Uh, these are Rubik's brands right here. Here is a Valk uh, Cuber's Home. GAN 356 Air S V2 White. Here we have a Cyclone Boys uh, budget cube that we uh, burnt. 50 millimeter Moyu uh, 3x3 Rubik's brand. Here we have a Yushin Black Kirin. I have another green force cube. This one looks pretty nice. Little Magic M in uh, this is the Cubicle Labs version, but I put uh, a different sticker on it. This cube's pretty nice. No Valk, no stickers with a corner piece missing. Here we have a uh, MF3 RS3 in stickerless. So yeah, that is it for 3x3s. That was a lot of 3x3s. You can see them all in here. So guys, here we are with 4x4. Tax Olsen will be doing 4x4. We got the GAN 460 with a missing green tile. This is the Rubik's brand, Rubik's Revenge 4x4. This is the MF4. This is the Wu Kui 4x4. This is the Mei Long 4x4. And finally, this really old Shang Shao 4x4. Okay, children, we are now doing 5x5. Five five. As you can hear in the background, Max has whooping cough and has three days to live. Here we have the Rubik's brand 5x5. Five five. Here we have the Valk 5, which is coated in so much lubricant that it's unusable. The uh, Moyu MF5. Here we have another Moyu MF5. Let's move on. Now we are doing everything above 5x5, five five. so Tax Olsen will now take it away. Starting with 6x6, six six, this is the Yushin Little Magic 6x6, six six. GE Chizang 7x7, seven seven. this is the MF8, the MF9, stickerless. So next up, we have Mega Minx and Pyraminx. We have the Yushin Little Magic Mega Minx V2, it's pretty nice for a budget option. This is the Shang Xiao Mega Minx. Uh, it's pretty nice. It's not that bad. Here we have two uh, Shang Xiao uh, Pyraminxes, and oh, this has a missing piece apparently. So, yeah, that's the thing. All right, moving on. I have everything else besides Minx and N by N. This is what is known as a Mefferts Ghost Cube. This is a a Fisher Mirror Cube. Cubix Tube. This is a dollar store barrel cube and it sucks. This is a gear cube, a mirror cube. This is um, pretty much a mirror cube but with the color scheme. A void cube this is an access cube right here. Floppy Rubik's cube. This is a floppy ghost cube. This is well known as a maple leaf cube. And yeah. It's pretty, pretty crazy. Uh, Skub Extreme. Extreme. Yeah. Yep. That's it for the 
non -WC WCA puzzles. All right. That was pretty good. You were so goddamn illiterate.